Today we're finally going to test Sora 2 against VO 3.1. These two are the most advanced AI video generators at the moment. I'm gonna put them through multiple tests in order to really push them through their limits. Sora 2 is made by OpenAI and VO 3.1 is made by Google. To save you the hassle of testing each one separately, we will use this platform called Higgsfield because it has both of them and many others in the same place. Alright, so in the red corner we have Sora 2 and in the blue corner we have VO 3.1. The maximum video length is 12 seconds for Sora and only 8 seconds for VO 3.1. You might say this is a loss for VO, but not exactly, because it compensates in other areas, such as the fact that you can use a start and an end frame to get your desired video, something you cannot yet do in Sora 2. And on top of that, they also have the ingredients feature, which I'm gonna show to you later in this video. Both of them can generate 720p and 180p, and both of them support portrait and landscape. Let's start with something easy. Let's do a podcast dialogue. We've seen a lot of those lately. As you can see right here, the prompt is pretty detailed. If you wanna use exactly this prompt, you can just snapshot it and use it yourself. Or even better, I'm gonna take all of the prompts that I'm gonna use in this video and I'm gonna create a Google document with them. So if you ever wanna get inspired, I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you can download it anytime you want to. All right, we have the prompt. Let's select Google VO3 and let's hit play. I really believe AI is unlocking creativity, letting people make art faster. I get that, but automation risks making everything sound and look the same. <laughs> All right, it looks pretty good in my opinion. The details are on point. Everything looks very smooth. Although somehow you know it's AI. Let's move on to the same prompt, but generated with Sora too. It just lets people make stuff faster. You don't need a big budget or years sure, of training to try an idea anymore. Sure, but if everyone's leaning on the same algorithms, everything starts to sound identical like that. Yeah, so visually, I think it looks slightly better. It looks more realistic. It doesn't have that, oh yeah, this is AI feeling to it but they kind of exaggerated some things in there. For example, the fact that humans naturally tend to interrupt each other when they are speaking, this is a bit exaggerated. I feel like the guy is just speaking over the girl and he's doing it for a long period of time. That would not naturally occur in a normal conversation. First of all, and second of all, I feel like the entire conversation just shut down too early. This is only seven seconds as opposed to eight seconds, which you're getting with VO 3.1. And I feel like it gets cut right before the last sentence. All right, now podcast dialogues are being used by everywhere and their grandmother. You see them all over TikTok. Let's give it a twist. Let's try accents. So accents is basically the same thing as podcast dialogues, but with an extra step. This is the prompt right here on the screen. This is VO 3.1. Welcome to the great accent challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Liam, your tomato sounds all wrong. <laughs> it, it's a bit exaggerated. First of all, what's that smoke coming out of the microphone? Welcome to the great that that's weird there's smoke coming out of microphone like when does that happen second of all the laughing is too forced the guy is just saying welcome to the great accent challenge and the girl is laughing just like she she heard the best joke in the world let's check out sora hey everyone welcome back to the great accent challenge i'm liam and we're about and to have I'm some fun and i'm sophie by the way americans say tomato right, like it's a brand seconds. new word switch it up yeah this is a lot better like you could see by the dialogue that this is much better let's see how they are doing with different accents let's say indian for example this this is the prompt right here. This is the VO3 result. You know, in India, tea isn't a break. It's a full social event. <laughs> Half the business deals happen over chai. <laughs> uh, well, okay, so they kind of messed up here. First of all, I feel like this guy's accent is very light. You, you, you know it's Indian accent, but it's not that classic Indian accent. First of all, and second of all, they made a very big mistake. Let's listen to it again. Full social event. <laughs> Half the business deals happen over chai. <laughs> so the girl said, half the business deals happen over chai. But she says it with his voice, which is incorrect. And now let's check out Sora with the same prompt. You know, in India, tea isn't a break. It's a full social event. Yeah. Half the business deals happen over chai. Well, here it's just an excuse to stop working for 10 minutes and complain about the weather. Yes, yes, madam. Two spoons of sugar, no? <laughs> Maybe the secret to good business is just good tea. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this time I've used 12 seconds for Sora 2 and the results are amazing. I, I don't have anything to complain about. It actually looks very good. It sounds very good. Each character has its own voice. They are laughing accordingly and all conversation just flows the way it's supposed to flow. Love it. So far, I think Sora is better, but we're only getting started, guys. Leave a comment below telling me who do you think wins so far? It was interesting making them generate accents. Let's try something in the entertainment area. Let's go with music. I wanted to use a simpler prompt just to see what it can come up with. This is VO 3.1. I've been running through the night, chasing every little light. 
Won't stop now, my heart no Okay, it looks good, it sounds good, but it still has that I know that's AI feeling to it. And I don't even want to say that anytime you pause on the video and zoom in, you can definitely see it's AI. Let's see Sora. Yeah, so even in this case, I think that Sora 2 is a lot better. It doesn't give me that AI feeling. The only thing I feel is that her gestures are just a tiny bit forced. But guys, you see how picky am I right now? I just want to remind you that one year ago, we were still figuring out how to make Will Smith eat spaghetti. I tried creating a better prompt for this music test, and this is what VO 3.1 gave me. Been running through the nights, chasing every little light, won't stop now, my heart. Which is a lot better, in my opinion, than the initial one. And on top of that, the crowd is singing together with her. And I think that's an extra point for complexity. I tried a better prompt for Sora as well, and this is what it came up with. I breathe in the cold night, every dream's in the air. And when the light breaks, I know I'm almost there. Heart beating louder than the skyline. Nothing's gonna stop me now. Okay, so I pretty much changed the scenery. This is not a concert anymore. It's more like a music video. And I tried playing with the camera angles, meaning that in the first shot, it was her in a very close up angle. And then in a different camera angle, her singing on a rooftop. In my opinion, VO 3.1 gives us much more freedom because you can do stuff like this. Meaning that you can decide what frame to start the video with and what frame to end the video with. This gives us a huge advantage over Sora 2, which first of all only lets us to select the initial image, and second of all, they do not support human faces. All right, now a real life use would be in marketing, because generating ads for products is a crucial skill that you need to have in order to sell anything. So I thought of a funny product, I don't think anyone else has even thought about this, it's that evil. I'm talking about garlic juice. So let's first of all create a mock-up for garlic juice, and then use that mock-up in order to generate some marketing materials. This is the final mock-up that I came up with. Now the cool thing about it is that you can take this image and create marketing videos based on this fictional product that we just invented. This is VO 3.1. You have to try this. <gasps> Wait, this is actually good? I, I'm not a big fan of this. It, it's, it's weird. And even when she's opening up the, like, this is forced, that this face is kind of forced, and when she's opening it up, it gets that smoke out, which is very weird. Let's check out Sora. Need a pick-me-up? Try this. Garlic soda? Huh. Whoa, that is actually amazing. Savory? Bubbly? Wow, told ya. Garlic juice, surprisingly delicious. <laughs> Sirlic juice. <laughs> Sirlic juice. All right, so it's, uh, this is also weird. Uh, and the, the way they are behaving, the way she's drinking from it, it's weird and she's acting like it's empty. Everything is weird about these videos and the reason for that is that we gave it a pretty basic prompt. We didn't put any kind of details in there. But we're gonna change that by giving it a picture of the product and a prompt that's a bit more advanced. Let's see what VO3 has to offer. Trust me, it's surprisingly delicious. Uh, okay, I guess. Whoa! That's actually amazing. Yeah, still weird. There are two different people. I mean, in the beginning, we have the woman in the yellow tank top, which changes to another woman. Okay, I got And this woman is tasting it while this woman is commenting on it. Nothing adds up here. So let's go back to Nano Banana. I uploaded a picture of the garlic juice and gave it a prompt to create an image of a female in her 20s advertising this product. This is what we got. Let's see the result. Wow. She's drinking with the cap on. It's that good. While VO 3.1 allows us to use a reference image, Sora 2 has another superpower, which is Sora 2 Trends. Sora 2 Trends works pretty much the same, but with simpler prompts. Let's see the first result. 
Meet Garlic Juice, the sparkling savory soda that dares to be different. With real garlic extract and a light bubbly bite, it's the crisp refreshment your taste buds didn't know they were craving. Zero sweetness, all flavor, and always bursting with bold energy. Yeah, they got me. I mean, it looks better. I gave them a reference image, and they knew what to do with it. I love this so far. Let's check out a different format. Eat the soda that's flipping sweet on its head. Sparkling, savory, and surprisingly refreshing. New garlic juice. Real garlic. Zero artificial sweeteners. All day flavor. Cheers, Cheers to bold. Nice, nice. Th this is a lot better. Let's see another one. Meet garlic juice. The sparkling, savory soda brewed with real roasted garlic. Hmm, that's surprisingly smooth. Bold flavor, tiny bubbles, and absolutely no artificial sweeteners. Just naturally refreshing garlic. Let's see the final one. The boldly savory sparkler. Garlic juice. Refreshingly different. Brimming with fizzy flavor that pairs with anything from burgers to backyard sunsets. Pop the top, pour the bubbles, and toast to taste. Imagine having a burger with garlic juice. A food lover's dream. The thing about Sora Trends is that you can pick all of these presets for your videos. Let's try one out. This is the prompt that we're gonna use. We have the preset selected and the base image. Let's generate it. Let's check it out. When sophistication meets bold flavor, a new indulgence is born. Crafted with sparkling mineral water and the essence of slow roasted garlic. This is amazing. Let's check out a different preset. Let's check out Street Interview. This is the prompt and let's click generate. Tell me what we're holding right now. This is garlic juice. Sparkling, savory, fancy. First sip, let's go. Mmm, smoky, savory, crisp. Didn't expect that. You into it? Oh yeah, tastes expensive. Why is everybody smiling right now? Well, I'm also smiling, I can tell you that. These ads are absolutely amazing. The only thing you gotta follow, guys, is that you need to have a different prompt for each and every one of these presets. Because for example, as you can see right here, I used a very simple prompt and I used the preset of Street Interview, which gave me this result. Meet garlic juice. The sparkling savory soda brewed with real roasted garlic has nothing to do with street interview and it has nothing to do with anything. This is what the output should be when you're using the right prompt. On the other side, VO 3.1 has this thing that's called ingredients, which it's explained right here. You can use up to three images to define characters or objects available only on Google VO 3.1. Let's stay in the same movie and let's create an advertisement for the garlic juice, but it is going to be made by a cowgirl riding a horse while holding the garlic juice can in her hat. So now we can upload a picture of the garlic juice bottle, the cowgirl and her horse. We're gonna use this prompt. Let's also select multi-shot mode. All right, so we have our two results from Google VO 3.1. Ready for a bold new adventure? Garlic juice, refreshment with a kick. This is very cool. I love this. Guys, as you can see, as you improve with the prompts, the output will be massively better. Let's check out the other one. Ready for a bold new adventure? Garlic juice, refreshment with a kick. Amazing. What else could we test them for? I have an idea. Let's create a TV show for kids. Let's go back on Nano Banana and let's try to create a bunch of characters for a kids TV show. All right, so Nano Banana gave us this first render, which I don't really like. That's a bit better. Let's go with this. We can go ahead and copy this prompt. Let's use it as the starting prompt in VO3 and let's click generate. Mm. Oh, it's so heavy. Here, little help. Well, hey, that's better. Ready? Ready. Nice. I don't like this. Let's try the same with Sora. As I told you, Sora also allows us to have an initial frame, but they're not allowing us to have a final one. So the characters should be consistent between Sora and Vio. Let's click generate. This bucket's heavy. Here, this will help. I've got it now. Ready. Let's make it huge. Yeah. That's so cool. All right, so you saw all of these eight to 12 second videos and you might be asking yourself, is that it? That's not even that useful in a real life situation. So now the question is, can we create a, let's say a 30 second to 60 second video? Let's try it out. Okay, so using Nano Banana, I generated a picture of this man that appears to be moving towards the right section of the screen. This is going to be used as the first frame of our VO 3.1 video. Next up, I generated an image of this guy sitting on a bench on the right side of the frame. So let's upload the first one as the starting frame and the second one as the ending frame. The whole secret is that you wanna use the ending frame of this first video as the starting frame of the next video. 
So let's select it as the starting frame and as the ending frame, we're going to go back to Nano Banana and tell them to generate another image that we're going to use for the final frame of the second video. Let's download this and let's use it as the ending frame. And then for a final video, we're going to have to select a final frame of the final video. The starting image will be him climbing up the tree and the end frame will be him looking at the old pictures. So I imagine three steps. The first one is he is moving to the right, then he's sitting on a bench and then he's getting up and walking towards a tree house where he starts climbing. So we're going to use this as the ending frame. And then for a final video, we're going to have to select a final frame of the final video, which is this person reaching the treehouse and finding some old pictures and he's looking at those pictures while smiling. And this should be the final result. And there you have it, 24 seconds. So we have tested these two in lots of different areas. All of them were pretty smooth. And I think that it's fair to say that we have to test them in a dynamic environment as well. Now, all of these shots were pretty easy to make, meaning that there was nothing happening fast in them. For that, let's give it total freedom. So no starting and ending frame. Let's just change the prompt. This is going to be the prompt is the first thing that I thought about when thinking about a dynamic thing. Let's check the results, VO 3.1. All right, so the gear changes are not accurate and I feel like the shot is not that dynamic. And Sora too. Yeah, this is much better. This looks so real. You can see it's very dynamic. You can see it's moving very abruptly. It's keeping the right side and it looks very realistic compared to VO3. So guys, let me know in the comment section below. Do you prefer one model over the other or do you think both of them are pretty much the same? Don't forget to check out There's an AI for that. Link in the description, the biggest website for AI tools in the world with more than 40,000 AI tools listed. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter and join more than 2 million readers that have done the same. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Have an amazing day and until next time, bye-bye.